Hello, Chris. Chris. documenting the store too. So this is Sears and Roebuck at the Paramus Park Mall in Paramus, New Jersey. Last and it two is days. The last two days. So let's go ahead and enter the store. Now, uh, before we go in, you yeah. please note we have we did get permission to film, so yeah. we're not breaking any rules. This is the Sears store at the Paramus Park Mall in Paramus, New Jersey. Opened shortly after the rest of the mall in August of 1974, Sears was one of two original anchors. The other was an Abraham and Strauss store, which became Macy's when the chain went under in 1995. Sears was also one of a handful of opening day stores remaining at the mall, alongside Hallmark, which closed in late 2017, and Chick-fil-A. Yes. As you can see, it has been completely uh, ripped out, completely gone. Yes. On February 2nd, 2018, I decided to pay this retail relic a visit, alongside fellow YouTuber and friend Chris Cronin, whose video will be linked in the description. There's Chris in the middle of my shot. Join us as we show you around this store on the exactly. second to last day of its 43 year operation. Hi. But you don't want to be too excited with it. Just say we get the permission from the manager. Exactly. said I'd be on TV one day. They didn't this lie. See it in a Sears. Bit of irony there. Oh, oh here we go. So we're not participating in any kind of Sears TV motion. Sears. 
where it all begins. Again, a bit ironic. I wonder how picked out the second floor is. Let's head up. Unfortunately, our tour had to end early. While we had received permission to film from an employee who claimed to be the store manager over the phone, we did not, in fact, have the store manager's permission. She politely informed us that, while she didn't have a problem with us filming, it violated Sears' chain-wide policy. She said we should have spoken to somebody at Sears Holdings in advance. Seeing as the store would be closing for the night in 40 minutes, and as we were pretty tired, we decided to pack up our camcorders and leave. This store permanently closed its doors on Saturday, February 3rd, 2018, at exactly 6 o'clock p.m., adding more than 43 years of business and hacking one more name off the list of stores still operating at the mall since 1974. I decided to pay this store one final visit the following morning, February 4th, to see it completely abandoned. Oddly enough, the motion detector for the doors is still working. It was clicking a moment ago. I'm going to try and activate it again. Look at that. It still works. Interesting. Looks like someone will never know how to start their portable generator. Oh well.
Well, it's been nice knowing you, Sears. Goodbye. Currently, plans are in place to convert the bottom floor of the former Sears into a Stu Leonard supermarket, convert the top floor and former Hallmark into a Regal Cinema, and convert the former Sears Auto Center into a Sears Appliance Center within the next few months. But for now, Sears remains completely abandoned, a crumbling reminder of Bergen County retail history, and the slow yet painful death of Sears and brick and mortar retail as a whole. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, and consider subscribing if you're interested in more of my content. If you would like to see more videos shot in this documentary style in the future, or if you have any sort of comments or critiques, please leave them in the comments section below. Until we meet again, this has been Ian V. Rayback. Good night.